Hello there. Well, it's been a lot of ups and downs and back and forth and two, te two steps forward and three steps back and that sort of thing. But I've got it down now to uh, uh, well, a, a state where I'm, I'm quite happy with what I can do with this. For instance, um, you'll notice here that this icon is not the icon of this application. And I want that because I want to know when I'm using this button and not just that program. I run this. Okay, that's not as an administrator. And oh my god. Well, it still came up in this slot. Maybe I changed the wrong one. I might have. There's another command processor in here. Should be right next to it in the list. I see. It's one of these auto generated things. That's right. That is right. See, because this. I know that is auto generated. That still says one. Oh, sorry, focus and this. Yeah. It was this. Hang on a sec. All clear. Well, this is this entry is simply wrong. Now that's weird. Why is it coming up under VS just in time debugger? That's not running. It might be. No, it's not. <clears throat> so somehow these entries got mixed up. Clearly that, that was the thing, right? That was this. Here I'm going to get a shell exec for Oh well, maybe not, because it goes to the... Uh, it goes to that crown. Hello? Okay, now that was really slow. And this one up one, why did they, they're all out of sync. Oh, okay, I see. I've made a mistake and now I've got my entries out of sync. Okay. Alright, okay. I, I think it's still correct. I just, my, the, um, I've made an error. Um, I'm going to fix the error first and I'll continue with this video. <clears throat> okay, I, I don't know. I, I know the cause of the uh, being out of sync. It's <clears throat> it's not out of sync now. Let's see. Uh, I just ran that, and if I got a plus one here. Um, 
The reason I get sent it got out of the sink is because I tried to have the feature where I could I, uh, not delete it. You, you can't delete an item from the user assist table because nothing, nothing ever goes away. But I just thought I could maybe ignore it, like ignore something and put it into a list of things to ignore, which I had. I have this ignore list. Right. But that gets it out of sync somehow. Anyway, so now let's just make sure. Is that the same or not? I know it's the same program. It seems like at one point it was acting as its own program. Clear everything out. No, it's not. Well, that's too bad. Uh, but still, I do want to have that icon there. So I want to know what it is. Sometimes it does it, it did, it, at one point anyway, it had a separate item for this thing, perhaps because I initially ran this, um, it, since I deleted the la all of the previous history, uh, I may have never run it through here say oh, yeah what happens when I run it this way well that's what I just did isn't it what happens when I run it this way nothing happens try that that launches I, I don't think that launched uh, command process oh yeah there's two going let's see now this is only going up by is it going to go up by more no see it's counting that as this one and if I get rid of this, the program running inside here is command processor, it even says so. But it's that's not going to go out. Oh, it did. That's strange. I guess it gets confused. Or, of course, I hadn't finished running TS list. Which is now not short enough. It might be that it launched command in order to launch PS list. Yeah, see that? So command processor has launched a different program. And it must be that the parent window is what's being counted when I alt tab like that. The parent window ultimately being owned by command CMD. So I don't know. That that's a little bit confusing. And not not so important. Now for the other list, count two. You'll notice that uh, these are showing now the correct icons and things. Uh, I, I think this like, is probably the same meaning as as before. Uh, I did launch this just recently, just between the last section and this. This could count for time, but it's never going to be a big time because 
a link is just you know only opened and then closed um, open to, to read a little bit of data and then close and that could make that makes sense that means that none of them ever get focused because they're not programs so this I, I wouldn't add this column it's useless don't know about the unknown column this is still meaningful and yeah so I get rid of this one column at least because it has no meaning and this is all of my I would get rid of this focus time if that's meaningless too. The question is that I, that I have is um, how does how are these numbers worked out? Is that based on the time? 0.55 okay cyst man Let's see if that's the same 0.55 in um, the program view. That's for the same week. Look. There's nothing that's 0.55. And cyst man here is a less, way less than that. So it might be that that number in the count to view is based on uh, a, this ratio and uh, we would have I would have to have a better what do I have it back for I don't think I had it working at the beginning this uh, already has the next I would wait till the next week and make sure that I keep saving it Actually, the we changed on what day? Exactly. Uh, you know, before this, that's the twenty-first of May, nineteenth, maybe. It's before the 19th. Maybe the 17th. Okay, 17th. And then 18th. Earliest 18th has it. So the 17th. It's Saturday, today's Wednesday, so a few more days before it'll flip. <clears throat> I should set my clock to go off. Uh, yeah, I uh, know. Don't want to see that. Um, I, I lost the one that I figured out uh, because I <coughs> uh, I changed the the for one one of my formats and I just had to delete uh, part of the history or what I knew already. But uh, you'll notice that one thing I've been able to do is. Um, associate a DLL here, photo viewer, and an icon. And the way I do that is with my new thing. Okay, now here I can browse this this is before browse for the binary file where the I know the code is located. And this here is to browse for an icon. Now it starts it's starting up where I was before. I have an Icon browser, usually you look in shell 32. The unfortunate thing about this though <coughs> is that it for most executable files it, it won't it won't load any anything because 
I'm using an, one of those image lists. And uh, the image list doesn't support anything but the old style icons. And most programs use the new fancy style icons. And it's simply not supported, and so this thing comes up with an empty list. So that's how I'm able to, to, to put in an icon for a program. Like if I wanted this checkbox, I can put that here, and it puts the appropriate number here, and then I can click modify, and it would change it to that. See? But actually, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be what it What I need to do now is to create an icon, I don't know how other people do it, but an icon browser um, <clears throat> not this one. An icon browser that will uh, accept those uh, fancy new images uh, that are even if they're 32 by 32 they won't necessarily load like if I try to just fiddle around with something I don't care about just any old program like I try any any program I don't know when an exe file which I know has icons. Okay, when app. Oh, it has some. Um, oh, and that uh, video downloader thing. What's it called? Freem Freemate? Okay, now that's one of those fancy huge icons. I don't get anything out of it. I need to, it needs to be bigger or scrollable. I don't get anything out of that. But I know it, it would assert if it didn't find any icons. So the, the code that loads the icon, which loads it into an image list, I'm using an image list for that. Uh, it's, it's a common thing. I haven't added a new section to TS Windows. It's my own common dialog suit. Common dialog. Con control. Uses a, uh, an image list. Okay. Uh, it, it was, <laughs> it took a, I wasted a lot of time on this because I, Initially, they was taking forever to load the things, and then I found out how to do it very really quickly. So, so I have all these extra threads for the progress bar and the loading and everything that I don't really need. But it's good that it works. You know, one of the things I found is that for my thread things, and I think gen well in general, if you have a thread class. And you run and you run the thread, and the thread terminates. You can't run that. You you shouldn't run that thread again, right? Because uh, any relevant data has become invalid. It's like a process. Once it's terminated, it's terminated. And that was one of the problems I was having. Like this thing I had derived from thread, like a Moses dialog. And uh, yeah, I'd run the load like the thread that loaded the icon list, and then return to the dialog, and then I'd want to go to another file and run the loading thread again, and that would it would fail for various reasons. Uh, and the, the reason essentially is maybe not that it couldn't possibly be done. 
but you shouldn't think of a thread as a thing that you start and stop and restart because it's going to have a different thread identifier, right? Like the, uh, the each thread has an associated uh, ID. And if a thing is to be a thread, <coughs> then it has an ID. And when it's terminated, it, then it's terminated. There's no restarting like a program, right? You, you don't, after main, you don't go, okay, let's restart the program. In any event, um, this thing has a list view control, which I, I just got out of the toolbox, right? Same as the other one, and I chose the icon view, and I have it has a uh, an image list again, just like just like the, this. Just like this thing is in list view, so that is the uh, the icon list is this of the same class, the same um, Windows class, but with a different uh, selection for its interface. Interface now. Uh, no, where is it? There are some things that I have protected by a, a critical section. Oh, <laughs> it's some really interesting deadlock bugs. Um, so here is a list control. That's my same thing as I have for, for that this thing, but not in report mode. And an image list, which is protected because it needs to be loaded by another thread. Um, and uh, the, the only view you get is this view. Right? Uh, well, I need a big one. Shell 32. Okay, I tried and I tried and I tried and I couldn't make it scroll this way. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know how people do it. But other people in the world are able to come up with this dialogue box that looks just like the, just like this. And I thought it must be a common dialogue box. But I can't seem to make one. Here, this box. If this is a common box, I want to make one, but I don't know how to get one going. If I could, I know this thing will load up icons for regular bulk programs. I'll go to that same program in program files, uh, free make, video downloader. See, it's loaded it. Now I, I know how, how to do that in theory. Uh, and the thing is, you wouldn't use a list, you can't use, at least you can't use the list, or the uh, image list that I'm using, because that doesn't accept these, uh, anything that's not of a sta the standard format. And so it fails the load, the image load. but instead of using its internal loader, you could, I could make my own list view, or, uh, sorry, image list um, class that uh, uses the function load image. And load image works for any kind of image, and then you can, you know, by hand rescale it to make it 32 by 32 and so on. But I don't want to go through that if, if this is a standard thing. Maybe it is, and I just haven't found it. That's a dialogue. 
lisp bar. Oh, it's um, just a lisp bar. It's custom drawn. Okay, that, that tells me that tells me that it's just custom. It's a custom drawn. It's not a list view, right? Like my thing. Where I go? If I run, if I check this, it's fine. Caption, yeah, where's the class? Class button. I don't want that one. What? Here, this is this is the one shell list view. Why can't I find it? It's it's hidden behind a button or something. They put a button on top. Choose uh, oh choose icon choose icon is that I want underneath that I see. I wonder why this thing can't search underneath. That that there is just a group box and a group box apparently is a button. If I got rid of that. Um, if I got rid of that, you see more clearly. Yeah, it's just a list view, or I can just show you in the re so it's when I close it. Show it in the resource. It's just a, a standard list uh, control, control. Edit. I uh, know. I'm sorry. It's a. Uh, it's not in here. It's a standard thing. It's in the. Uh, uh, it's in my libs. This here. is a uh, list control right and what's its class name hang on a sec go away Oh, it's read only, but who cares? I'm not going to save it. Just a minute. Hey, yeah, it's not read only. Why can't I delete that thing? Okay. See? Sys list view thirty two. Whereas the other thing that comes up from Explorer, this fancy box, which a lot of other people seem to make in their programs. It looks exactly like this. It scrolls this way and everything. All that is is a list box. A list box is is the even more basic than the other thing, right? So it's cust it's a custom drawn list box, and these items 
each one represents one line of text. This is the text as it's been drawn, you know, and the, the height has been... In fact, it could be that this grouping, like this is a, a list box with four lines maybe. I wonder if you can tell from here how many lines it has. Disable multi column. Well, multi column. Oh, I see, I see. So it's a. Here's four lines of text, and here's a next, another column with another four lines of text all the way to the end. And uh, a line of text is simply drawing a picture using, you know, um, Standard GDI is my guess, and I'd have to, I'd have to write that. But I have a feeling that it, it exists, and that there's a way to to bring that thing up. You know, I mean, they're all over the place. But it's got to be. If there's got to be a standard way, and if anybody knows, let me know. So, uh, as you can see, anyway, uh, the, the great thing in, that, uh, that's happened is that everything now works. The, both the count one and count two. I just have to change the column headings a bit. The right icons come up, and I can override the icon that shows. One of the ones I overrode, as you saw, was this. Um, this I'm just leaving as it is. Uh, I'll try again to see if I can find a way to ignore lines. But I just don't want to, I know that I deleted this program. And I don't want to see it there in the list ever again. But um, it get the numbers get out of sync somehow. All I'm doing is all I was doing was not adding them. What I need to do is not add them to both bits of data. One the uh, the visual thing, and two the you know it's data duplication. I got two things representing the same data. This control and a list of items, right, which is used to draw the control. And as it turns out, <laughs> that list of items is contained in the control, believe it or not. Not directly. But each one of these elements has as its, as its user-defined uh, as its user-defined um, data thing uh, a pointer to its uh, element in the internal data list. Well, I could just give them all a pointer to, to the entire list. I don't know. Oh, now this went up ten times. What is it? Since I've been on, it must be related to... What? What have I been doing? <clears throat> Spy XX. What have I been doing since we've been since I've been chatting here? I ran spy XX. Uh, check. I didn't go into red yet. Oh, I went here a few times, but I know it's not that. It can't be that. Oh, 
It could be. Although it's not running at the moment. I know that one of them happens to be a document explorer, which sometimes is running even though you can't see it. Because it's got a bug. This can go to the tray too. Feature I added. Feature I added. Not much of a feature. <laughs> it was just a matter of deriving from that special file. Uh, where are you, Document Explorer? Here. And that's Document Explorer for sure. Yeah. Which is, and uh, now where is that program again? Common File. It's in program files, common files, shared, help aid, this one. There we go. One more down. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make an installer. For, oh yeah, here's another good one. See, remember I had two things called Explorer, and I I, didn't, I I wanted to indicate which one was this thing, which has this icon. Well, that's this one. You'll see, I just used it. See? It, uh, it got the focus. It wasn't executed. So that's a... The program itself happens to be Explorer, but the icon happens to be... A, well, one version of it is it's locatable there. There might be others. The reason these are coming up on the... with the... Question mark, which means program not found. This is because uh, remember Adobe kept trying to up this thing kept trying to update itself. I didn't like that. So what I did was I uh, just you know the standard thing. Go to uh, the uh, the updater thing, which was not in. But it was in here, I think. This, yeah. And just remove uh, access to all the entire system. This directory has no... This, no component of the system is allowed to, to access this directory. So now it no longer tries to update itself. But I've got these stupid icons I don't want to look at. I'll have to fix that problem. See you!